Now I'm going to talk about how people can experience the Holy Spirit. Now for this, you can write these five verses down. Because we'll use this also for a method of evangelism called experience God evangelism. When we pray for people, you can see people experience this work of the Holy Spirit. Okay, the first thing that most people experience is peace. Number one. John 14, 27. Okay, now this is another assignment, okay? This assignment is you write this down now and you got it. That how we can experience the Holy Spirit. Jinsi tunavyoweza kuhisi uwepo wa Mungu. Hii ndio swali tunaenda kuulizwa tena. Jinsi gani unahisi uwepo wa Roho Mtakatifu? So Jesus said peace I leave with you my peace I give you. Yesu akasema amani na wazia, amani na wapa. But he was saying what well, this is Jesus said not the Holy Spirit said how what is what you wanna say ma who you yes to be a mesema and to see a man that you see wrong to get for a mesema and to see a man but God is one father son and Holy Spirit he didn't move in more the Baba one at home to get for so when Jesus gave us peace the Holy Spirit also gives us peace for God yes so not to buy money had a long to get it to be a man to buy my when you pray to God and open your heart to God you feel very calm and peaceful. You feel burdens go away. Okay. Number two. Matthew eleven twenty eight. Matayo kumina moja ishirina nani? Matayo kumina moja ishirina nani? That all you who are weary and burdened come to me and I'll give you rest. Leo, na ijoni kwa umulio lemewa na mizigo mizito, na mini tawapunzisha. Many of you experience burdens go away. Wengi wanaiswana hisi mizigo yao imeondolewa. And then, three, Romans 5.5. Da tatu ni warumi tano tano. Warumi tano tano. The love of God has been poured out into our hearts by the Holy Spirit. Pedro wa Mungu umemwangilia juu yetu kwa njia ya Roho Mtakatifu. Pedro wa Mungu umemwangiliwa juu yetu kwa njia ya Roho Mtakatifu. So people can experience the love of God. Watu wanaweza kuhisi uwepo wa Mungu. And then I say at chapter 61 verses 1 to 3. That Isaiah 61 na moja 61, 1 to 3. There it says that the spirit of the sovereign Lord is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to, to preach the good news. So this came from the anointing of the Holy Spirit. And then to send me to heal the broken hearted. So the people who are hurt in the hearts can be healed of the of the inner hearts. And then proclaim freedom for the captives. So people who are bound by any kind of addiction or burdens or worries or negative emotions can be set free. And then also oil gladness instead of mourning. Uh, waka leta raha badala ya kilio. 
Now, so this talk about the inner healing of the Holy Spirit. And this generation, there are many people who have emotional power. So the Holy Spirit can heal the broken hearted and bring freedom to people and to comfort people who are mourning and give them gladness. Okay. Uh -huh. And then Psalm 16 verses 8 to 9. Zaburi kumina sita msali wa tamani na tisa. There are things. Msali wa nane kufikia tisa. There are things that said that he always set the Lord in front of him. Na Biblia sema kwamba aliweka roho mtakatifu mbele yake kila wakati. So he has a close relationship with God. So ye ako na uhusiano wa karibu na Mungu. And then he said my heart is glad and my tongue rejoices and my body also will rest secure. Anasema kwamba mlimi wangu ni mwepesi, mwili wangu ni mwepesi na hata mimi nimetunzwa katika huduma niliyo ndani mwao. So he will experience joy and his body also will rest secure. He will experience comfort to the body. Na hata mwili wake wote umeponywa maana kuna utulivu wa kila sehemu ya mwili wake. This is what many people experience. Hii ndio ambayo inaishiwa na watu wengi zaidi. Comfort to the body. Yaani wale watu wanaishi wako salama katika mwili wao. Even people who have sickness. Hata watu walio wagonzwa. First thing they may experience is the Comfort comes to the body. Hey, kwanza, mwili wao unapata usalama kwanza. And Psalm 4, 8. Katika zaburi nne nane. That I will lie down and sleep in peace. Kwamba nitalala na nipumuzike kwa amali. Because the Lord makes me dwell in safety. Kwa sababu mungu aneniweka makao ya salama. There are many people who have insomnia and pray, we pray over them and then they can sleep much, much better. And then Mark 16 verses 17 to 18. 17 to 18. There is says that miracles will follow those who believe. Inasema kwamba miujiza itawafuata wale wanao amini. In my name they will cast out demons. Kwa jina langu watakemea mapepo. They will speak new tongues. Wataongea katika ndimi ngeni mpya. And they will lay on the sick and they will be healed. Watawekea ikona wagonswa na watakona. So here it talks about God promises all of us can have miracles. Biblia inasema kwamba sisi wote tumepewa ahadi tuweza kufanya tendo la miujiza na kupokea. Do you believe that there are miracles? Unaweza kuamini kwamba kuna miujiza wa kwa pendwa? Wangapi wanaamini Mungu anaweza kuwapa tendo la miujiza? Wonderful. Let me ask you a second question. Basi nikuulize swali la pili. How many of you pray for someone that he experienced a miracle? Umeombea mtu mara ngapi akaisi akapokea muujiza? You pray for someone that experienced a miracle. Can you raise your hand? Ah, kama ushaombea mtu akapokea muujiza, unaweza kuinua mkono wako? Okay, there are fewer hands now. Ah, sasa hiyo mikono imeanza kuwa mchache. Imepungua. Ni nini? Nini sababu ya mambo haya? Because most Christians just don't pray for people to experience healing. So many Christians believe there are miracles but they don't believe that they can have miracles. And then Jesus said miracles will follow those who believe. So when we believe that we can have miracles, but we want to go and pray for people. Okay. Now, um, I want to the Bible also said that in evangelism that we use the word of God and also the power of the Holy Spirit 
was miracles. Ah, Biblia inasema kwamba katika uinjilisti tunatumia nguvu za roho kufanya kazi. Turn down the low side, the low end of face. Turn down the face. The face, turn down the face. Angalia base iko namna gani? Okay. Maana ndio inaleta hiyo ugumu. Or we have oh. tuna tuna microphone imefunguka mahali pengine. Just a force. Okay. Angalia sauti. Okay. Now Romans 15:18 to Romans chapter 15:18 to 19. Walumi 15 mstari wa 18 na 19. Walumi 15 mstari wa 18 mpaka 19. There is sister. Hello. Biblia inasema hivi. Ongeza sauti kidogo. There is sister Paul will share about what Christ has accomplished through me. Ah inasema kuhusu ye yani Paulo ana ana anahudumia watu yale Mungu ama yale Kristo ametenda ame kupitia ndani mwake. I want to said and done. Yaani kile kitu ambacho hakijatendeka uh, kitatendeka tu. So evangelism is not just by saying uh, uinjilisti si kusema tu. But also by what we do. Lakini na matendo yetu yanafuatana na uinjilisti. And what does it say what that we do? Na ni mambo gani haya tunayoyafanya? By the power of signs and miracles through the power of the Holy Spirit. Kwa nguvu za roho mtakatifu kwa nguvu za kutenda miujiza kupitia kwa roho mtakatifu. Do you know that there are miracle school in different parts of the world? Ah, kuna shule ya 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 miujiza, kuna shule ya miujiza katika sehemu ya dunia hii. And they train people to be filled with the Holy Spirit. Na wana wana fundisha watu jinsi ya kujazwa roho mtakatifu. And then they practice praying for each other. Na wanafanya mazoezi ya kuombeana hapa na pale. And pray for more people. Na wakawanaombea watu wengi. And then they go out to the street. Na wanaenda katika mitaani. And invite people to come for prayer. Na wana wanaalika watu waje kwa maombi. And there are people experience healing right away. Hakika watu wanahisi uponyaji so this is something that can happen here. It's for the pastor first to experience the Holy Spirit and lead the people. And then also 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verses 2 to 5. Here Paul also talked about the demonstration of the spirit and of power. Pia, pia hapa Paulo anazungumza kuhusu matendo ya roho mtakatifu na nguvu zake. Hebu angalia hiyo mtambo iko chini na tutasumbuka. Okay. So this Bible verses tell us how we can experience the Holy Spirit. Na hapa Biblia inatuambia jinsi tunavyoweza kuhusiana na roho mtakatifu. Now many people go to meetings and they expect to fall down under the Holy Spirit. Watu wengi wanaenda katika mikutano na wanatarajia waanguke ndio waamini kwamba roho amejushuka ndio. Now if you experience that there is fine. Eh ukiukilisi hivyo basi ni salama tu kwako. But even if you don't fall down but you experience the peace or the love or the freedom or the joy inside is great. Usipo hata usipoanguka lakini tuwe na raha uhisi uwepo usisi amani ya Yesu ndani mwako hiyo ni salama zaidi tena. Because many Many people they, they think that they have to fall down in wana, order to be filled with the Holy Spirit. Wana fikiria kwamba ni vizuri waanguke chini ndipo wafikiria wamejazwa roho ama badala ya kujazwa roho waanguke tu chini. They didn't realize that when they spend more time loving God or a group of people praying together and loving God and experience the peace and love and joy actually is the Holy Spirit filling me more and more. Hawajatua kwamba ni vizuri kukaa katika upendo wa Bwana, furaha la Bwana na ukiomba na ukihusiana na mwenzako na amani hiyo ikiendelea kumbe hiyo pia ni roho mtakatifu na amani kikaji yako tena. So we don't have to fall down to experience the Holy Spirit. Okay. Now, at this point, katika, I'll ask any two persons come out. I'll pray for you. If you're hungry for God, just demonstrate. 
Uje tu, uje tu. Uje tu hapa bene. Watu wawili ambao wangependa tu tuombe nao, alafu tuchukue viashirio vya Roho Mtakatifu kupitia mwao. Now I want to say that Nataka kusema hivi. The leader has this help a lot. Kuwekewa mikono kunasaidia sana. The leader has is like the Holy Spirit passes from one person to bless the other person. Hii ni rashia kwamba Roho Mtakatifu anatoka kwa mtu mmoja anaweka kwa mwingine. And then if the person keep praying after that, he can keep the infill of the Holy Spirit much easier. Uyu mtu akiendelea katika maombi, ataona kwamba upako wa Mungu utaendelea kutenda kazi kwake katika njia ya uraisi sana. Now in order to experience the Holy Spirit, we all repent of our sins. Trust in Jesus' love. And hunger for God from our spirit. I love you, Lord. And worship with our whole spirit. And be willing to follow God and love God na and tuki, obey God. Tukifata mungu, kupenda mungu na kuti. Iyo ni ojambo na mungu sana. Zoni, sasa Somebody karibu. Somebody hold my mic, please. Mtu wakuja shikiria microphone ya ungeni. So, I will, after I pray for them, then I experience briefly how we can experience the Holy Spirit. Aha, ni takita wakupea halafu mutaisi, mutaona vile roa mungu hujeta kazi. Can you all stand up to you? Tuweze kwa mka wa kanisa lote. Let me tell you what I'm doing. Wacha ni kwa mbiki la majo mimi nafanya. When I pray, na poomba, I just relax. Mimi ni kwa tuhuru kabisa. And believe that God wants to fill us. Na mimi kwa mba mungu wa nataka kutujazi. And hunger for God. Na sinapu utafuta mungu. And worship for my spirit. Na tuhuru ibada kutoka nani ya moyo wangu. And you notice that when I pray for people, I don't say many words. I pray from my spirit. Mimi na umjiombea mwenyewe. Thank you, Jesus. Asante Yesu. Oh. Asante Yesu. Yeah, Jesus. Yes. Yes. Yesu ananipenda. Yes, Jesus loves me. Oh, yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so.
I felt like the power of the electricity passing into my hand. I experienced that. You really experienced that. What that was happening. How about in your heart now? He says he has felt another powerful peace in his heart. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So God is very well. How about you? Praise to the Lord. When I was being prayed for, I felt the sweat in the hole of my body. 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 Sweat in the my body. was being shivering. I felt the hotness in my body. Amen. How about in your heart? My heart was burning. It was burning. Okay. How about over the body? My the whole body was but shaking. Was shaking. Yeah, the body was shaking. Yeah, that's the power of the Holy Spirit upon you. Now, anyone here who experienced, I want to come and share, and I'll pray for you at the same time. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. 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 The Holy Spirit will come to anyone hunger for Him. Mungu roam takatifu anasukia kwa yote ame anakiu anakiu ya kutafuta. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. When he was seated, when they were praying, he felt power in his hand. And the hand was now so being made straight. He, 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 he was he felt like being being pinched on the on, on the shield. And uh, he, he was now he had peace. Total peace. Now the first part I didn't understand. The first part what he said. The first part. The first part what he said. He said that he felt power in his hand, and the hand was made straight. 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Now, what I want to say is, the more we pray, the more you experience it. Ah, nataka kusema hivi. Vile tunaomba zaidi, hivyo ndivyo tunavyopokea zaidi mambo ya roho. Okay. Now I'm going to say how we can be filled with the Holy Spirit. So you write this down. Ah, sasa nataka kusema jinsi ya kujazwa roho mtakatifu. So this is andika haya jinsi. This is also the assignment. Hii sasa inaweza kuwa ni mtihani wetu tena. Jinsi ya kujazwa roho mtakatifu. Number one, cha kwanza. Repent of all sins. Tubu makosa yote. And also follow the holy the, the holy way of God. Alafuata njia takatifu ya Mungu. If we have been angry with people, we want to Come to God more and have peace. Ah, kama tumekasirika na watu, watu wametukasirisha, tuje kwa Mungu tupate amani. Now in another session I will talk about how to overcome our sins. Ah, sasa katika awamu nyingine nitaongea jinsi ya kushinda dhambi. So the first thing is repent of our sins and hate sin. Ah, jambo la kwanza ni tubu dhambi zako na uchukie dhambi. And know that sins are very destructive. Na kwa sababu dhambi zina madhara mabaya sana. Number two. Jambo la pili. Read the Bible and like the Bible and apply the Bible to our lives. Soma Biblia, penda Biblia, weka katika matendo Biblia ndani ya maisha yako. It's not just reading the Bible. Si kusoma Biblia tu. But really like the Bible. Lakini upende Biblia. And whatever the Bible says I believe. Kile Biblia inaposema naamini. And I apply to my life. Na uweze kuweka kwa matendo ndani ya maisha yako. And number three. Believe that God loves us. Amini kwamba Mungu ametupenda. He wants to fill us with the Holy Spirit. Na yeye anatujaza Roho Mtakatifu. Like Zephaniah 3:17. Zephaniah 3:17. Zephaniah 3:17. That it says that God takes great delight in us. Yani anasema mungu furai ndani mwetu. He will quiet us with his love. Yeye anatupatia upendo wake. And he will rejoice over us with singing. Na anafurai tu yetu kwa nyimbo. So every time we pray. Wakati kila sao na poomba. I believe that God is very, very happy. Tunamini kwa mba mungu anafurai, furai, furai sana. He wants to fill him with the Holy Spirit. Anataka kunijaza. Being filled with the Holy Spirit means you have a close relationship with God. Okay, number four. Worship in spirit and in truth. John 4, 24. John 4, 24. Worship in spirit worship include worship in the spirit and also in our soul. Kwa kuabudu katika roho na katika nafsi. So write this down: the spirit and the soul. Roho yani kwa roho na kwa nafsi. And our soul includes three parts. Na nafsi iko na sehemu tatu. Our mind. Mawazo. Our will. Pendo lako. And our feelings. Na hisia zako. So we start with these three. Tunakuwa na hizi tatu. The whole mind agrees that God is very good. Akili yako ikubali kwa mba mungu ni mzuri. The whole mind says, I want to follow God. Ma akili yako isimi kwa mba nataka kufuata mungu. The will says, I want to follow God. Pen. Yani na 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 pendo lako ni seme kwa mba nataka kufuata mungu. I want to obey God, I want to serve God. Nataka kumti mungu, nataka kumtumikia mungu. Now even me, 67 years old, I can retire and rest in Hong Kong. Aha, hata mimi katika miyaka ya Agustina Saba naweza kupumzika na nikai kule Hong Kong. But I want to, my heart. My desire, my will is to I want to serve God as long as I can. Lakini mimi pendo langu na isia zangu ni kwamba nataka mimi nitumike kwamba nitumike ulimungu wote uzima kumutumike kwa mungu. I want to bless more people. Nataka nibariki watu wengi. And number three, feelings. Number three, number three, feelings. 
hisia za Wakati tunafikiria jina Mungu tunampenda. Haijalishi tunapenda chakula, tunapenda vitu vingine na mna gani? When we drink water, it tastes so good. Aha, it feels good. Tunaona, hey, so I like God's who created water. E, tunajua, tutupenda, mungu, jinsi, tunajua, kunya maji vizuri, and God give us peace and joy and I like it. Mungu atatupa amani na furaha na mimi napenda hiyo. Everything God does I like. Kile kitu chochote Mungu anachokifanya nakipenda. I really like God. Mimi nimependa Mungu sana. Now I have told many people please spend more time praying. Nimeambia watu wengi jamani hebu tuchukue muda mrefu kwa maombi. But I saw many people they just like to chat. Lakini watu wengi wanapenda tu kucheza na masimu na kuongea ongea katika usaha maombi. Now we need to chat to build our relationship with people. Lazima tubadilike jinsi ya mahusiano yetu na wenzetu wa chatting. Lakini watu wengi ndio wanazuona wanakaa sana katika mazungumzo yao. When I time I want to love God more. Wakati nataka kupenda Mungu sana. With all my spirit. Na roho yangu yote. Now just now I talk about the the, the soul includes the mind, the will and the feelings. And then our spirit. That in Psalm 103 verse 1. Samuel tattoo. All that is in me will praise his name. Pardon? All that is in me will praise his holy name. Psalm 103 verse 1. Ile yote iliyo ndani mwangu na naiweka ikaweze kumtii Mungu Samuel 3:1. So when I pray to God, ilikuwa ninapoomba kwa Mungu. My whole spirit love God. Roho yangu yote nipende Mungu. Now you can do this. Unaweza kufanya haya. With your voice. Na roho yako. Ah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's like a sin from our spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. From the spirit. Kutoka ndani ya moyo wako. Oh. It's like the whole spirit ascend to God. Let me tell you, this is the greatest secret to be filled with the Holy Spirit. Now you can start with like doing this. Hallelujah. Ah, ah. And it's the whole spirit ascend to God. It takes time to learn this. And also the whole spirit likes God. I really like God. I admire God. I hunger for God. Okay. And then number five. Hunger for God. We hunger for God more than we hunger for other things. Like how Elijah, Elisha hunger for the double sharing of Elijah's anointing of the Holy Spirit. And then number six. Number six. Obey God and follow His great commandment and great commission. Ebu mti mungu na ufuate agizo na keku. The Holy Spirit is for following His great commandment and commission. E a roho takatifu nua ufuate agizo na keku hapa duniani. The great commandment is to love God and love people. Agizo na keku ni kupenda watu na kupenda mungu. The great commission is to preach the gospel. Na agi a a se se mkuu ya ya mungu ni kuhubiri inchiri. And to teach people to obey everything the Bible has taught and Jesus taught us. Na kufundisha watu jinsi roho anasali tuambia tuweze kufundisha na kumpenda mungu. There are many people who go to many meetings. Watu wanaenda katika vikutano mbali mbali. They just want to experience the Holy Spirit. Wanataka tu kuishi wepo tu wa roho tu. Wanataka wa roho tu. 
after we experience the Holy Spirit, we want to spend more time loving God. Baada ya kuhisi uwepo wa Mungu, hawajali kupenda Mungu kwa muda mrefu. And preach gospel. Na ubiri ushindi. And fill up the spiritual life of people. Na waishi katika maisha ya Kristo ya ya Roho Mtakatifu kwa watu. Number 7. Saba. Number 7. Saba. The laying on of hands and spiritual meetings does help. A ku, kuweka mikono kwa watu kwa ajili ya kujazwa Roho Mtakatifu kunasaidia. So I will lay hands on you we'll pray together after this meeting. Nitakuwekelea mkono tutaomba pamoja baada ya mkutano huu. You hunger for God more you will experience the Holy Spirit more. Wale ambao wanakiu na Roho Mtakatifu wataishi uwepo wa Roho ukiwa juu ya maisha yao. But it's very important to keep the presence of God. Na ni nzuri na ni muhimu sana kuweka uwepo wa Mungu karibu nasi. Now when you are standing there praying, unaposimama na kuomba, you find your body swaying. Unasikia mwili wako unatetemeka. Then you open your heart more, you find the swaying becomes stronger. Aha, ukiendelea zaidi utakuta kwamba mwili huo unaanza kuwa sasa na nguvu tena zaidi. The power of God come upon you stronger. Inasikia hiyo inaonyesha kwamba roho wa Mungu ameshuka juu yako na nguvu zaidi. You may experience peace or love or joy more. Sasa umeingiwa na upendo wa amani na furaha ndani ya moyo wako. I hope you hunger for God. Naamini kwamba unakiu kutafuta Mungu. And you want to keep the anointing na ungependa kuendelea na ile upako. Don't just pray in a meeting. Usiombe kwa mkutano tu. But keep praying when you're going home. Lakini endelea kuomba hata nyumbani. When you're walking all the way you keep loving and, God. Hata ukitembea njia ni endelea kupenda Mungu. Spend more time loving God. Uchukua muda wako mrefu kupenda Mungu. And then when you experience the Holy Spirit don't stop praying. Aha, unapoishi nguvu za roho ziko juu yako usikome kuomba endelea kuomba. Especially some people experience the Holy Spirit powerfully. Wengine wetu tunapokea nguvu za roho kwa njia iliyo kubwa. You keep praying to keep the anointing. Na tuna 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 na kuzii tuendelee kwa maombi zaidi. And then number eight, the last point. Number nine, I'm about to take care of different problems in your life. Ebu angalia na utawale shida mingi ambazo ziko katika mwili wako. The sins. Kuna hali ya kuhisi. The negative thinking. E na mawazo ambayo yana kupata katika wepesi. The negative feelings. Na zile ambazo hazikupati kwa uwepesi or any problematic relationship ile mahusiano ambayo ni ya shida if we you know experience the holy spirit and then we get angry we we'll lose the infilling of the holy spirit tutijaswa roho mtakatifu alafu tukasirike tunapoteza roho mtakatifu okay so this Eight points you keep doing every day. Hizi mambo manane hebu yafanye kila siku. Repent of all sins. Tu makosa yote. Obey God in every way. Hebu mtii Mungu kwa kila hali. Believe God is loving us. Amini Mungu ametupenda. Every time we pray. Kila saa ukiomba. I believe God is blessing me. Amini Mungu anakubariki. God wants to fill me. Yesu anataka kukujaza. And then number three. Number tatu. Oh, and number two, it's uh, believe that God's word it's always true. Amini kwamba neno la Mungu ni kweli kabisa. And read the Bible. Na usome Biblia. And number three is faith in God's love. Namba tatu ni imani. Number four, worship in spirit and in truth. Eh, namba nne, abudu Mungu kwa ukweli na roho. Spend as much time as you can to to love God. Hebu tumikia muda wako mwingi kumpenda Mungu. And then number five, Tano, hunger for the Holy Spirit. Hebu kuwa na kiu ya Roho Mtakatifu. Number six, Number sita, Follow the great commandment and great commission. Hebu angalia agizo kuu la Mungu katika maisha yako. Number seven, lay in our hands or spiritual meetings are helpful. Number saba, ajili awekelea mikono watu maana hiyo ni ya msaada kwao number 8 take care of different problems in life e, angalia na ushughulikie na utawale shida zote zilizo ndani ya mwili wako with the infilling of the holy spirit katika kujazwa na roho mtakatifu your whole life will be different maisha yako yote yatakuwa tofauti your spiritual life will be different maisha yako yote yatakuwa tofauti your ministry will be different huduma yako itakuwa tofauti 
you will enjoy life more. Uta, 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 jisikizi, nizuri, umeshako, ni Every mazuri. day you have more joy. Kila mwami siku na raha. You have more strength. Ukona mguhu za ili. And God will also talk to us. Na mungu ata tuzungumzia. Give us more teaching. Ata tupa mafundisho kuka wini. And guide you in our life. Ata tuongoza kwa masa yetu. So you go higher and higher. Utahenda chuna juu za ili. You will not be the same. Hauta kuwa jinsi ulili otena. If you really love God, ukipenda Mungu kwa hakika, and God, na ukiwa chini ya Mungu, and hunger for the infilling of the Holy Spirit, na uweze kutafuta Roho Mtakatifu wa kujaze, your life will never be the same. Maisha yako hayatakuwa jinsi yalivyokuwa hapo baadaye. You will not just be doing things without Hauta, hauta kuwa ukifanya vitu bila malengo but your life your whole life will have a great purpose maisha yako yote yatakuwa na malengo makubwa sana so if you want the holy spirit please stay and it will form a group you know Uki, I form a circle and pray together. Ukitaka Roho Mtakatifu akuongoze, tutashikana mikono na tutaomba pamoja ili Roho Mtakatifu aweze kututembelea. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Na sasa we pray for the Lord here. So, sasa tunataka kuomba na ningependa tusimame sisi wote tuombe kwa muda mfupi sana sasa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Now, two more verses can come over and Praying here. Yeah, to Oh, Two persons can come out and lay it. You are quite shy. You want to have the Holy Spirit. We need to be more courageous. Oh, 